everybody welcome back to extreme heat pete <coughs> i am extreme heat pete and i'm here today to do a source review from none other than the lazy scientist and you can find the lazy scientist on facebook instagram and twitter so today i am reviewing his this is the old style label label to the source because he's recently upgraded all his labels but this is the lazy scientist Brixton Reaper. Now, as the name suggests, Reaper means it contains Carolina Reapers. So it's going to be hotter than any of the other sources I've done of his previously, which were quite family friendly. So let's uh, give you a f run you through the ingredients. So we've got Scotch bonnets, tomatoes, onion, white wine vinegar, rapeseed oil, garlic parsley, basil, Carolina reaper mash, pink salt, allergens at the sea and bold. There is no allergens. Uh, this, this sauce started all oh, Brixton is a homage to my, to the vibrant community where lazy scientist sauce began. This West African style sauce was born and raised in the SW9, which the majority of the ingredients sourced from sellers on the Ethnic Electric Avenue and lovingly mixed nearby. Okay, so this comes from his roots, from Brixton, his roots, where he grew up and where it all started. So it's going to be an absolute privilege to review this. So, you know what? Let's say no more, let's get this cracked open, let's see what it's all about. So, where's the perforated edge? There's the perforated edge. If I can get something open, there we go. Right, so we're going to start off with the colour. The colour looks like a mustardy colour, something you'd expect from a like a barjan sauce colour so quite yeah it's a nice nice mustardy orangey yellowy greeny colour it's not too bad the labels of the old school are quite catching they're fresh shows that it's artisan because it's well designed uh, this is a 148ml bottle so, fingers crossed, if that's a, no, it doesn't fit the sauce caddy from Sauce Caddy Daddy, which you've seen in previous videos. So, this is obviously, doesn't fit that way, that's supposed to be 148 mil. Right, okay, anyway. Oh, little pop. Smells really nice. Let's get the uh, get it on the old spoon. It's a bit of a pain to get out. So there we go. Right, there we go. It's on the spoon. You can see that colour. Now it looks quite orangey on the colour on the camera, but it's actually quite greeny greenish colour it looks smooth that taste is in the pudding wow ooh, ooh, ooh. so it's really smooth as it works its way down the throat now as the heat doesn't kick in till about 10 seconds later, but that Reaper, whack! That Scots bonnet, whack! That is giving the old taste buds a good kick in. Throat's tightening up as it's making its way down. There's a little bit of a sweat building on the brow. I don't know if it's because it's hot in this room, or whether this sauce is hot. Oh, wow, that is. 
quite punchy on the Reapers and the Scotch Bonnet. The vinegar content is very low. So it's not giving me a kick in with the vinegar because I barely taste that vinegar in there. I taste the parsley, the parsley. It's quite mm. yeah. No, not parsley, basil parsley and basil. That's why the other flavour I can taste is the basil. The salt, salt content is really, really nice. I'm tasting the garlic come through too and the onion. Slight bitterness from the tomatoes, but main the main thing is is that heat coming from those Scots bonnets and those Carolina Reapers. Oh lord 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 lord. That is punchy punchy. Punchy. By far the hottest sauce. I have reviewed from the lazy scientist himself and it's a winner for me it really is enjoyable so what would I have this with I definitely wouldn't have it with my normal ramen due to the color and the creaminess of this but maybe mixed with a pasta dish a tuna pasta could work um, the Scotch bonnets and the reapers will go well with a nice bit of white fish. Even dipping your your chips from your from the chippy in could work. Could work. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need a need a drink. Wet my whistle a bit. I hate builds, builds and builds. Now I've had a drink, it's going down. So that is a really great source. I would give you the nutritional facts, but they've been blacked out for some reason. Uh, this bottle was £6.50 at Ben's Biltong, but I'm pretty sure it'd probably be cheaper on the Lazy Scientist website, but I'll leave all that information in the description below and where you can find this and links to his YouTube uh, his Facebook Instagram and Twitter pages oh a bit of a nose run from that excuse me while I just clear my nose so yeah check that out now, can you also remember to check out my sponsor sublikeithot.shop where you can find some great artisan sources from all over the world they have got a brilliant range on them over 500 plus sources on their website so go check that out also remember to use that discount code extreme 10 at the checkout and you'll get 10 percent off all your orders sending you lots of pennies and pounds the more you order the more you save also check out dr dom's at drdoms.shop for some amazing fermented sauces. He's also London based, same as a lazy scientist. So check him out. And remember, when you buy a bottle of the butt burner sauce, not only will you get the butt burner for five pounds, but you also get a free sachet of danger dust. And for extra measure, you'll get a free 150ml bottle of skull cooker extreme triple X sauce. So for five pounds. Plus a bit of postage, you get free items. That is worth checking out for sure. So check him out. I will leave his information in the description here below too. But if you like what you see, please leave a comment in the comments section. I try to reply to all comments. So if I don't reply, bear with me. I will reply. Now remember to give me a big thumbs up. So enjoy this video. Please share your friends, family. Smash that red button. Turn it grey. You know what to do. Keep on subscribing. The more you subscribe, the more artisan sauce reviews I do on this channel. But for now, I have been Extreme Heat Pete. I thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next review. It'll probably be another sauce review. Who knows? But anyway, I will catch you later. Bye.